Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another English language lesson for grade 7. I'm Sir Jared McFoy and today we want to look at narrative writing, more specifically conflict. Are you ready? Let's go. Now what is conflict? Have you ever been in a conflict? Mm, let's see. Now conflict it is a struggle between opposing forces or characters in any form of literature. It is that element that makes the story interesting. Without it, the story has no life. So when you think about conflict, I want you to think about struggle, problem, opposition, difficulty, battle, clash, fight. And I know when you think about all of those words, you can say to me, yes, sir, I have been in a conflict before. Now, whenever any of these arise in a story, we refer to it as conflict. And there are two broad categories of conflict. We have external conflict and internal conflict. Let's say that again. External conflict internal conflict. One more time. External conflict and internal conflict. Now let's talk about internal conflict. Now when you hear the word internal, what comes to mind? You think on something that is inside of the body, something that you can't see. So internal conflict occurs inside a character's mind or heart. It often involves making a difficult decision. Alright? Now let me give you an example and I always like to use this one. Your mother says, don't turn on the television. And she goes in her bed to sleep. Now you're sitting there thinking, hmm, alright, so she got in her bed. Should I turn this TV on? She won't know. She the snore. She sleep deep. Oh yeah, but what if when she, she gets up and she beats me because I disobeyed her and then you have this back and forth. So when you have a back and forth happening in your mind or in your heart, you're thinking, should I do something? Should I not do it? And there's this push and this pull. You are experiencing internal conflict. Now external conflict. This type of conflict occurs outside of the character's mind or heart and is usually a struggle with another character, nature, society. So it happens where outside of the character's mind or heart, so now you can actually see it. Now something is happening to you and you're battling with something in mind, I can't see it and say, oh, you are going through this. I can't even touch that conflict. But with an external conflict, it's something that you can see happening. And it can happen, as it says, with a character, two characters coming together and they're clashing, a character and an element of nature, or a character and society. For example, if a character is experiencing racism in society, that would be man versus society. Now here is an example. See if you can identify what type of conflict Raj experiences. Are you ready? Let's go. After breaking his mother's favorite vase, Raj struggles to decide whether he should tell his mother the truth or attempt to hide his mistake and blame the family dog. Let's go that again. After breaking his mother's favorite vase, Rat struggles to decide whether he should tell his mother the truth or attempt to hide his mistake and blame the family dog. I want you to think about it. Which type of conflict is he experiencing? Internal conflict 
or external conflict? What is your answer? It is clear that Raj has a difficult decision to make. If he tells the truth, then he may be punished and will also have to face the hurt and disappointment of his mother. If he blames the dog, then he is spared but will still have to live with the guilt of lying. What should he do? Mm. So we see that what? Raj is surely having an internal conflict because he's asking himself, what should I do? What am I going to do in this situation? Is this back and forth? He's thinking, I already broke this vase and oh my God, what, what is going to happen to me? Maybe if I even tell her the truth, she's going to beat me. But then if I blame it on the dog, you know, she's not going to beat the dog. So he has this internal conflict that he is facing. Now read each of the following scenarios and see if you can identify what kind of conflict is faced by the main character, also known as the protagonist. Write your answer in one sentence. So as we go through these scenarios, you are going to ask yourself, is this character experiencing an internal conflict or an external conflict. Let's go. Kristen was once teased for being heavy, but then she lost a lot of weight. Now Kristen is very skinny, but there is just one problem. She still sees an overweight girl when she looks in the mirror. Her friends and family try to convince her of how beautiful she is, but she doesn't believe them. Worse still, she is continuing to diet. Will Kristen be able to align her body image with reality or will she destroy herself? Mm. I want you to think about that. Which type of conflict is Kristen experiencing? Kristen is having an internal conflict. She's having an internal conflict. That's what she's experiencing. So although she has lost the weight, when she looks in the mirror, she still has this battle. She's still seeing herself as a fat person, a person who's overweight. And we see that what this is making her uncomfortable and unhappy. Let's examine our second scenario. After years of saving money, John bought his dream home. It was a two-story beach house in a secluded area. John thought it was absolutely perfect until he noticed the termites. First, they were just a few nibbling away at the back deck, but soon there were thousands. This is the story of how John went to war with the termites, a war that he eventually won but one that cost him his dream home. Now, which type of conflict 
is John experiencing? What is your answer? John is caught up in an external conflict with the termites. And as we see at the end of the story, it says that what? This is a story of how John went to war with the termites, a war that he eventually won, one that cost him his dream home. So we can see that John, he was not able with these termites. And finally, our last scenario. When an evil ogre kidnaps the princess, the brave knight Louis sets out to return her safely to the castle. Along the way, he must defeat monsters, powerful wizards, and an evil dragon. Will Louis prevail on his quest, or will the powerful ogre crush him? Which type of conflict is Lewis experiencing? What is your answer? Lewis's conflict is external. So he is experiencing an external conflict. All right? So what we're seeing here, he has to now fight this evil ogre to save the princess. Okay, boys and girls, I want to thank you for participating in class today. I hope you had a great time learning about conflict and the two types being internal and external. Until we meet again, I'm Sir Jared and I'm out.